What's the most disgusting thing you've seen someone do with no shame? First that comes to mind, working at a casino, there was this one lady who smoked so much. She complained the servers weren't bringing her new ashtrays often enough, started ashing on her tongue. One time I watched her put out a cigarette butt on the machine, then flocking eat it. It was my uncle's wedding day and his wife was just getting ready to walk down the aisle. One of the guests in the wife's family decided to stand up and show off his Johnson. There were kids there and he got kicked out trying to play it off as a joke. I saw this guy get up in the middle of a bus ride multiple times and switched seats. I noticed he smelled urine, and when he got off I noticed all the seats he sat on were moist, wet. He also took out a big tub of Vaseline during the ride and slathered his entire face and neck with it. Removed. Saw a guy jacking off on a city bus right near three kids. The dad of the kids went over and literally dragged the guy to the door and threw him out the exit while the bus was moving. He totally deserved it, though. A guy walked into the restaurant I was working in, tried to open the door going to the storeroom and realized it wasn't a bathroom. He then proceeded to pee on the door right in front of people eating at the table near it then walked out. Smoke electrical tape, the black plastic stuff. Rolled a small cigarette-sized tube and two guys smoked it, lit it, blew out the flame, and inhaled over and over. They rolled a giant cone right after. Me and another buddy told them that we couldn't believe they we smoking tape. They laughed and said they couldn't believe we weren't. Quite disgusting. S saw a customer at work sneeze into his hand full of change and give it to my coworker. I didn't have time to warn her though. I was on a commuter train that broke down for about 20 minutes. Sitting across from me were a brother and sister, probably about 12 to 13. Their dad was next to me. The kids started licking each other's faces, then picking each other's noses. Dad was totally unfazed. Yeah, had to find another seat before I threw up. Kid in middle school ran and dove into super long trough urinal, slid down it baseball style the whole length. Crap all over a toilet at work and leave it there with the back spray all over the wall. I watched a middle-aged man take his shoes off and clip his toenails onto the floor in a waiting area at Logan Airport. From the phone conversation he was having at the same time, it appeared that he was a mental health professional. Pick little cotton balls or whatever it was from under their sweaty arm cast and eat it. I can't really say, no shame, here since the person was homeless, but I was in NYC and saw a man eating a live rat on the subway. The way the rat screamed was horrible and I don't know why he didn't just kill it first if he had to eat it. I was having some bongs with a friend a year or so back and my stepdad bought some friends over for some R&R. One of his mates who we will call Drongo asked me if he could have a cone and I then said that was okay. Drongo then rips his cone looks at me then proceeds to drink the very dirty bong water like it was a normal thing to do. Never saw Drongo again after that awkward encounter. Mill uses her own hair to floss, while at the dinner table. I saw a drunk guy try and pee between two people on the subway onto the free seat in the middle. Whipped it out and everything. Thankfully one of the passengers nearby was a tough middle-aged black woman who wasn't about to tolerate that shit. Bless her heart, she taught him shame that day, and his pee-pee stayed in his pants until he got out at the next stop. Several years ago, I lived in an apartment in a low-crime, decent part of Seattle. Looked out my fifth-floor window to see someone in the alley below us, pull down their pants, pull a pipe and a baggie out of his butt, fill the pipe, and proceed to smoke it. I lived in San Francisco for 17 years. I've seen homeless people giving, getting blowjobs, shitting on the sidewalk, shooting up, etc. Saw a guy go up to a flock of pigeons, somehow managed to grab one, and seemingly break its neck. The mother of my childhood friend would chew on the dead pieces of skin she peeled off her feet. Pretty sure she watched Austin Powers' gold member too many times. Bite the head off of a lizard and laugh. I watched an old crackhead walk in the mall and shit in one of the fake flower pots. Then tried to use the water fountain as a bidet. Saw a homeless woman in San Francisco with her pants around her ankles masturbating furiously while the crowd of people getting off work just walked around her. I was eating dinner with a friend and saw an full adult touching a visibly uncomfortable child's thigh. I deleted.
was friends with someone until they decided to go rob a homeless shelter. They were bragging for months. I was living in China where every expat food item is expensive. We had some guests over one evening, US expats, and I purchased a brand new $10 bottle of salad dressing. He opened it, put some on his salad, then licked the whole rim of the bottle and put it back on the table. My husband and I looked at each other in complete disgust. Who the flock does that? Either the people who post their kids in hospital who are dying. Or once I saw a woman take a shit in the middle of a shopping mall. Squatted down let rip then just pulled her knickers up and left it there. Everyone was just too shocked to speak. This thread really got me thinking twice about ever visiting San Francisco. Witness the neighbor's kid put his hand in his crack dig around for a bit and smell it. He even waved at me with the same hand. Use kids as tools in divorce or child support cases. Look dead at the teacher's face while dropping a softball-sized shit in the urinal. Peoples who use their kids to be popular on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram and other. Clean her phone screen by licking it. Scratch their balls then smell their fingertips in front of everyone. This is more funny than disgusting I guess. Seen an older woman shit on the sidewalk on Germantown Avenue. Fall in it. Then just laid there in defeat. It's sad looking back on it but it was funny at the time for how random it was. I've learned that if I ever want to feel better about myself just go to San Francisco for a day lol. My Bill let his dog sleep with him in his bed. While she was in heat. He did it for months. Blood was all over the mattress, even on his pillow. Bruh, I was just gonna say I knew a guy back in uni that would sometimes leave the bathroom after a piss without washing his hands, but the answers here are mental. Had a dog I had to groom who was sick with cancer. I noticed she wasn't acting right. I called the owner to let her know that I was concerned the dog needed to go to the vet due to her illness. The owner did not show concern instead she said, oh well, she will be clean when she dies. Still haunts me. Buddy of mine took his buddy to a glory hole for his birthday. Dude seriously thought it was a woman on the other side of that hole. He blew his load and walked out with a smile on his face. Stayed at a hotel with swimming pool. One day I saw a guest shave her legs, cut her nails and scrub her feet in the kids' pool. Zero fricks given. Nurse here. Once saw a patient start vigorously masturbating out in the open. We didn't have individual rooms. Then go to the cabinet that contained patient meals. Touch every single one of them. Then grab four and scream. Flock y'all. I'm pregnant. A girl I went to high school with had a glass eye. She would pull it out in the middle of class and suck on it and it never fazed her. Traumatized the rest of us. My friend committed suicide because she was being bullied for her body type and speech impediment. After she passed and our teacher informed us, one of the girls that had bullied her said it was my friend's asterisk fault because she was different and shouldn't have gone to a public school if she couldn't handle teasing. I still hate that girl to this day.